Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I have these one two three four toys come in the post today I pre-ordered these you pre-ordered these three and you, you uh, can get this uh, One too. It's only available if you did the pre-order so I did the pre-order uh, These are the next wave the next lot of toys released by devil toys in their uh, Woo in pocket war of order in pocket now I'm gonna review all of these but I will review these two now and these two I will do probably tomorrow and you can catch up the next day okay so let's have a look at these two this is gonna be the secret assassin I'm quite excited about and also we have the dog or the war wolf it says uh, let's look at the figure first so on the front nice artwork the fig looks really cool it's a secret assassin i can see his gun or his weapons are behind him there looks really nice uh 2019 copyright devil toys quite simple packaging but very effective on the back it says codename secret assassin sorry name secret assassin codename the spectre birthplace not available combat gear Shattered Blade, Cape of Obstruction, Long Range Assault Rifle. The Spectre has one and only one mission, to assassinate the significant target of enemy side. The demand on killing and absolute obedience makes the secret assassin like a haunting ghost, and so he gains the name Spectre. There's a quote, target will be terminated in 5 seconds. English is a bit dodgy, but it was easy to understand. Very, very nice. Uh... Adult collectible toy, recommended for ages 15 and up. Now, the first two figures released were the Secret Master, which I'll put somewhere up there, I think, or up there. Uh, any suggestions? And also the Secret Trooper. Uh, the other two here, I've got the Heavy Armored Secret Trooper and the Medic Trooper. Here is a Secret Trooper minus head. Um, I got a spam these. There was an issue with the first batch with the shoulder joints breaking. One of mine broke, so I got this as a replacement. So hopefully that's been sorted out in this new batch of figures by them. So let's open up the uh, Secret Assassin and see what it's like. Now I say there was a fault in the shoulder joints. There was, but the shoulder joints are really nice because it's a ball and socket here into a ball and socket there. The shoulder can do this which most figures can't do particularly 118 and 118 you've got like microman who can do it and these and i'm not sure there are any others that do it okay you can pull this round tape off and then you can slide up the card so that can stay safe uh he does have his very nice looking assault rifle that's really really nice looking that's like one of the best 118 ones i've seen he has an alternative head uh, and okay, it's so a little case, and he can pop out here. Ah, oh, and that's nice. I like that. So, what he also has, which I will sh show you, is he has a there's a little part on his wrist here. There is a knife, which I can see can flick out. And hopefully straighten. And that is so cool. That is such a really nice feature, especially on such a small scale model. Uh, so let's have a look at his gun first. I was not expecting that to be so nice looking, but let's open up this bag and see how nice it actually is. is a great looking figure let's just hope the articulation matches I'm just scared that his uh, clothes will block articulation this has got a drilled barrel I am so happy not sure if you can see that on the camera there but there's a drill barrel we have got the wood color another darker brown uh, the gun is black dry brush with silver but there is some slippage on the dry brushing so You've got some silver paint on the sort of wooden part there as well, but that's okay. It's just a minor thing. This does look really, really nice. 
and even down to the scope though that was painted that would be sort of ideal this is like one of the best 118 guns I've come across. and it's got a bit of give but I wouldn't want to be bending that okay here has an alternative head here which is always great you get alternative heads because you can buy another and get two options or you can use them for other figures and customs this head is rather cool looks like a sort of cyborg ninja almost with like a cyclops eye in the center very nice looking so far let's look at the figure yeah he is kind of menacing so is this cloak which can come off And we'll take it off maybe in a second. He has. Oh, that's cool. So the actual strap part doesn't actually attach to anything, which means that you can take the cloak off. Um, he has that knife on his hands, which swings out, which is a really cool feature again. I do like that. But I can't see any articulation in his hands. On these ones, there is articulation. They can bend the wrist in and out, but I can't see that on him unless I'm missing it. Twist, yes, but there's no bend and there's no. Oh, there is. There's this way he has. And the other hand is the same. So there's this articulation, but not this articulation. Okay. Quite hard to see the head sculpt with this uh, cloak on. I could just open that enough so you can see his head. It's very much like a minimal painted android head, but looks effective enough and very menacing inside that hood there. Let's give this stand up. Stands up very easily. Let's put this between his forearm. There we go. He does look good. Okay, so let's look at his articulation. We know that this his clothes are going to greatly, you know, impede on his leg articulation and his head. He can't really look left and right much because of this cloak. You have to take that off. Um, shoulders will be really good. Biceps. Probably be uh, quite sure it'll quite so. Right, his shoulders are really quite tight, so I'm not keen on um, moving them yet. What I will do is I'm going to pause this video. And I'm going to heat up some water, stick him in, and loosen up his shoulders because at the moment that is way too tight for comfort. I'm just trying to see what type of joint it is. It's the same as last time. Yeah, it appears to be the same sort of joint as last time. So I don't want the shoulder to snap. So I'm going to pop him in some hot water. I'll be back in literally no time at all for you. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, I am back. I've done a hot water treatment on his shoulders. His shoulders are like this. So not just up and up, he can rotate like that as well, which means he has much better range of motion for and articulation than nearly all 118 scale uh, figures. So uh, it's still a bit wet from the hot water. His head, he can look down and up. He has limited side to side and he can look left and right quite easily. Okay, put the hood back up. Shoulders to go very high as we saw. Uh, I can now turn it around. His bicep curl is just nine, just beyond ninety, maybe. So you know it's acceptable, better than a lot of our figures we've seen. This this one is slightly over ninety, better than ninety. That is cool there. Um, shoulder still a bit stiff. So if you see his shoulder here, it's up, and I can push it down. And small backwards and forwards is really nice for holding weapons. Same on the other arm. 
Uh, there is no elbow, so his arms can break backwards too, which is a pity. What is an elbow? I much prefer to have the elbows so the arms stop in a, you know, in a natural position. Uh, he does have torso, so he can lean forwards really quite far. And backwards, not quite as good, but the cloak gets in the way and it can turn. There is no trunk twist, which is interesting. Fortnite figures have a trunk twist to his legs. Really fantastic, but the uh, cloak is stopping him from going all the way down. For the side splits, forward splits, front wise is okay. Backwards is pretty damn good as well. Really, really nice there. But it's worth noting his legs are a little loose. Um, double knee joint. Sculpt gets away a little bit, but still very tight. He has a boot twist, ankle twist here, and he can go very good on the tiptoes, but not so good on the lean forwards, but it is acceptable. His articulation is pretty good, particularly on the legs, on the hips, and the shoulders. The shoulders are still a bit tight, but at least they're moving now. Um, I prefer these stock head, the head that comes with my standard, though I would probably paint that a bit more. Let's see how he can hold his gun. Now, because the stock is quite short, it should be able to hold it really quite well. The stock shouldn't interfere. His hands are quite rubbery, which I really like on my figures. I don't like these stiff fig fingers where you're scared they're going to snap if you start if you start moving things around. Now, the great thing with the shoulder, as you can see now, I can just go boop, boop with the shoulder to help him get a much better uh, position to hold his gun. Let me see, hands open this way, and he should be able to hold it. Come on, fingers. Yeah. Yeah, that's badass. Let's get that on the outside there. Really, really fantastic job, and he looks amazing. Really, really nice. Paintwork is simple and basic, but very, very effective. It works on him. It works really, really well. Okay, let's see what other sort of poses I can get him into. So, let's have a look at a kneeling pose, which should be easy from his articulation. But can he balance it? Using his cloak to balance as well. Okay, without his cloak, a bit more difficult to do it. Unless I'll take him longer, perhaps. Using his cloak to balance there too, but that's okay, he still looks pretty cool. Um, can he hold it up like he's doing a bit of sniping? Probably, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I think it might be difficult, but let, let's have a look. The hold where he actually changes rather where he holds the gun for this. But then again, it's going to sort of ruin the whole aesthetic. I had that then, I just popped it out by mistake. He can, but that hood and cape is going to make it real hard to get his head in that sort of downwards position ready to look. So he's pretty close to getting there. He looks so damn cool. Okay, let's pop that out. Let's see if I can pop his jacket off. What's the easiest way? Uh, look at this one first of all. Can I just put him apart? Not easily, so which means it won't be so easy to pull this one apart. Legs, yeah, I know they come off quite easily. Get the right angle, you can pop them off. But the rest, no. So how am I going to take the jacket off? Let me see. Straight up over the arms is what it's going to look like. The hood is one piece with it, so it's a... Uh, bit 
awkward in places. Particularly that knife part, that's going to catch. Work it slowly. Okay, so now he is without his uh, his cape, his hood. Let's get this stand up straight. Get a better look at his head there. So there's minimal uh, paintwork on there, just a bit of dark blue it looks like. If that was painted a lighter blue or maybe a, a luminous yellow or something like that, that looked really quite cool, it'd pop a lot. Okay, let me stand up nice and straight and let's compare him with some other figures. And then I'll look at the dog. So let's look at an Acid Rain figure since they're both apocalyptic and he is slightly taller. up your arm down. What are you doing? It's worth noting that the Acid Rain also has that motion too, but not quite as much as the War of Order Devil Tools in. Uh, let's look at a... Uh, let's look at a Fortnite figure. Let's look at Raptor. Who's here? Raptor is slightly taller. Let's look at a... Zombie Labs, Zoe's quite tall. She is a, eh, a little bit taller, but her head scales bigger, so she makes it look a lot bigger in that sense. But scales well as well. Let's look at an Epoch capsule droid and a capsule toy android, which are quite big. And yeah, he's bigger. But still scales very well. So he scales very well with other brands, which is fantastic. Okay, let me just pop the head off and put the other head on. Now the head is very similar to... Whoa, that's stuck in there. Yeah! Ooh, to Acid Rain. We have one peg here, another peg goes in, and then the head goes on top of that last one there. That's going to be quite a tight Ugh, fit up. Oh, no, that's not going in very easily. Which is not a surprise to how difficult it was to take out. I don't want to go to the hot water again for the head, but I might have to, to make that whole stretch out a bit bigger. Uh, nope, not going in. Okay, let me see if I can put the original head back on again. If not, then it has to be headless for the time being. Let me take it off there, be easier that way, or should be easier. You should just be able to force it on the table. Yeah, that didn't go in either. Anyway, I'll put that back on now. Um, the head, if it hasn't got the hood on, will have a big range of motion, or should have a big range of motion because of the double peg system. So if you see here, you'll get a nice side to side, forwards, backwards, and around, and then the head on top will have its own motion as well. Okay, let's have a look at the dog. There's no information, just says Rafe the War Wolf. Uh, there's no articulation that I can see. You can't reseal this one because it's stapled, but that's okay. Calling it a wolf is a little bit, a bit of a push because it's quite small. You know, it's not a big toy dog. Uh, no articulation at all. Paintwork is rudimentary. The sculpt is nice. Paintwork in the eyes is a bit naff, and that sort of robot leg there is pretty cool too. Though it needs to be inked and maybe dry brushed again to make it pop and shade. Uh, let's make it to pop and give it some depth, sorry. 
and you can see that he's, he's only up to the knee height so it's quite a small dog and he has some pockets which don't open but look pretty cool as well but great for dioramas and even play if you're into playing this stuff I like this figure a lot that gun is fantastic the figure we can see now he hasn't got these uh, clothes in a way to hinder his articulation is really 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 good fantastic flexibility on the forwards on the sideways sorry backwards look at that really good as well the leg articulation of these is amongst the best you'll find in 118 um, and then the shoulders having that joint that goes in so it can do this is such a nice touch too now I just want to show you one more thing I really want to get the head back in but I'll wait for that you see the knife arm here that just swings down it'll lock into place and he's got this little knife now we can slash or stab. That's such a nice little design. That's quite simple but well executed. Though he's a bit loose on his arm there. I'd imagine you can take the hands out, but I don't want to break mine. And you could slide that off because that's quite loose and maybe use it in another figure. Very nice figure indeed. Um, I will put this back on in a moment after I finish the video, uh, but I will stand them up here for now. In fact, let me try and put it back on now, get everything back together, just to bore you guys more. Okay, so I'm hoping to be the opposite the opposite way, so let's have a look. That would be far more difficult to put on, I think, than to take off. Let's see. In fact, I need to put his head on first, otherwise I'll never get a head on once that hood is in place. Um, I am going to pause this again and heat up the head so it expands. In fact, let me try first before I pause and disappear again. See if I can get that to go on a bit easier. I want something a bit more tough than this. Maybe that this should do. Let me see. Okay, so let's try and force this on. Nope, not that time. Okay, there we go. That's in. And that's in there. Okay, let's try and get his cloak on. It's a bit of a long review, guys. Sorry, it's like already 23 minutes near enough. But this is such a nice figure. I'm so happy with this. A nice job on this. Maybe put his arms backwards first. I think arms backwards is the way. Get his arms in. One and two. Okay, yeah. Then he can pop his head under the hood. Bring him down to the shoulders. Okay, so his head's in now, and he's back to how he should be, or how he comes, rather. Fantastic figure. So this is the, was it the Secret Assassin, did I say? The Secret Assassin, codename Spectre, by Devil Toys, 118 skill from the uh, War in Order line. Really, really nice. Fantastic gun. And he's got, and I'm also reviewing the, uh, is it Wraith Wolf or the War Wolf, Wraith the War Wolf as well. Simple but aesthetically pleasing, and he comes with a spare head on this secret assassin. Okay, uh, I will be reviewing these guys next. So keep out for a look out for these, and I'll be putting. You should have seen hopefully the suggested videos for the Secret Master, Secret Trooper, and please uh, watch my other videos too. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more awesome action toy videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notifications icon somewhere around here so you don't miss future uploads and new videos and content, etc. Okay? Bye bye.